Hey you guys, it's Quishaboo and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, I hope that you like, comment, and hopefully you subscribe. Um, if you've already been tuned in, you already subscribed to me. Thank you guys so much for following me along my journey. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, today is the day that I'm leaving the Dominican Republic. As y'all know, I came here by myself. Um... This morning, I woke up, I brushed my teeth, washed my face, and I had my last massage of my stay. After my massage, they gave me a bath. Like, during my stay here with my recovery, I, was, I haven't had to do anything. They bathed me, they massaged me, they cleaned me, they put my faja on, they take it off, they put my phones in, like, and they be struggling putting this faja on. So I can only imagine when I get home, baby, I am nervous. But um, I packed up my suitcase, made sure I had everything. Um, right now we're on our way to the airport. I'm kind of nervous because the nurse was telling me something about when I get there, um, I'm gonna have to show them proof that um, my doctor is releasing me, like I'm good to go. So I have my medical clearance paper for my doctor. Um, also, they just gave me another um, injection in my leg, another shot. It's a blood thinner for my flight. Um, you get that three hours before your flight. Um, and then she was also telling me that when I get to the airport, they're gonna have to strip me naked or something to look at all of the incisions. So she was taping all of my lipo incisions. So I'm kind of nervous because what you gotta strip me naked for? If you know I had surgery, you know I had surgery. What you gotta be all up in my cooter and all that for, baby? You being nosy, touch your nose. But um. I'm gonna see when I get there. I am a little nervous going through the airport here just because it's like I'm gonna scream. I just had surgery because I still got my little penguin walk. But bitch, mind your business. Not too much. Yeah, I really look like shit. I can't wait to get home, put my wig on, do my brows. Like this, 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 this is crazy. <laughs> But I'm gonna keep y'all updated. We're on, our, we're on our way to the airport now. Hopefully I get some beautiful views on the way back to the airport because the water, you guys, is so beautiful here. Um, if you're scared to travel by yourself for surgery, I don't know what you're scared for. I hate when people be like, I'm scared to go out to eat by myself. I'm scared to go to the mall by myself. I'm scared. To, why are you scared to do shit by yourself? Are you not comfortable in your own skin? Like, that's what it's giving. Like, I understand it's another country and everything, but as long as you have a reliable driver that's connected to the recovery house as long as you've done your research you're good i haven't had no issues no issues like i said i have a private driver everywhere i go i have a private driver so i'm not really tripping it's the same driver obviously it's a private driver but just do your research you know and don't be don't be too fast picking people take your time let it come to you don't rush nothing when you rush it that's when shit starts to fuck up take your time pray ask god to lead you to wherever you know you feel that you need to be led to and he gonna deliver every time better know it gotta know it <laughs> i'm gonna keep y'all updated though <laughs> just asked for my medical clearance paper for my doctor but as soon as I walked into the airport it was like all eyes was on me like I could I was pooping but I was trying to keep it together y'all I was trying to walk straight as I can but I still had like a little penguin in me um all eyes was on me like the older people like they was you know snout when they know it was bitch I was snouting my shit back mind your business um and then from there, like the people knew that I had surgery, so I have wheelchair assistance. 
I get Will to run um, I was gonna say Will to run the hospital, but Will to run the um, airport. I'm thankful for that because, bitch, I could not do it. Mm -mm. But um, they're trying to see because when I get to Miami, my next flight. So I land in Miami at like three. And my next flight is not until like 10 o'clock. So they're trying to see if I can get the flight moved to five o'clock. Please, I hope they can. Cause I do not want to wait until no fucking 10 o'clock. Like that's crazy. But checking in wasn't too bad. Um, it wasn't too bad. For y'all my coochie, like my cootie cat hurts so bad. Like. This paha is so tight and I got a pad so that like my coochie won't swell because you know your faha is the opening at the bottom of your faha and if you don't cover that shit, all the swelling will go out to your coochie because that's the only opening in the faha. But now that I'm sitting on it, baby, this pad is like in my cootie cat and I don't like that. Like I keep trying to lean to the side, boom my legs, like it's not helping. <laughs> Not having this shit is uncomfortable as fuck. They pinch in my lips and I don't like that. But I just cannot wait to get home. I see my baby tomorrow. I see you later tomorrow. I ain't gonna see Kalani till another couple of weeks, but I've been FaceTiming her. I can't wait to see them. I can't wait. I feel like this experience in total was like really humbling. Because it's like one day I can sit down, walk around by myself, and then boom, the next day I need help doing this, help doing that. It's like, don't take the little things for granted. Don't take it for granted. Um, but I'm gonna keep y'all updated. I just can't wait to be back on, back in the turf that I'm comfortable in with American people, you know? English speaking people, you know? So, I'm going to keep y'all updated if anything else happens. So, I will see y'all later. I am not on the plane, but I'm a little aggravated because I thought that I was at the right gate, but the dude took me to the right, to the wrong gate. I was at A6, I'm supposed to be at B3, bitch, B3 is across the fucking airport. So, I had to get up and damn, use the damn wheelchair as a crutch to try and get to B. Bitch, my fucking legs burning stomach on fire like i finally found the dude that took me to the wrong gate and he pushed me to a to the to the right gate or whatever oh um, excuse me when i had got to my right gate it was a girl that i had seen um at the clinic place for massages she was there and it was a, a father and it was a mother and, and son I said father, what the fuck? It was a mother and son that had just got everybody to get together and he was snatched, baby. Like that booty was sitting like yes. But um the people here are like really, really money hungry, like bitch. The wheelchair assistance is included in my flight. If it's included in my flight, don't you be asking for your hand out. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> but um yeah, I'm on my flight now. Hopefully when I land in Miami. Let me scoot over because I got arm lipo and that, I don't want to cut somebody out because that shit hurt. But, um, yeah, hopefully they can move my flight a little earlier. I'm just ready to touch down and see my friends and my kids. When I get in Miami, I'm going to eat it, baby. I can't wait until that pull up, like, for real. But, y'all, I'm going to cut this video a little short because even though I don't see and it's that they need all the space in the aisle, bitch. It's a lot of space. And I got arm like though, like that shit hurts. So let me go here and protect myself. <laughs> I'll catch up with y'all later. <laughs> hey y'all, so I done landed to Miami. It's like five o'clock right now and I don't board my plane until 9 30. I don't board my plane until 9 30. So I'm sitting at this little lounge place. I wish they had a USO here, which is like for military people, where like they feed you and you can go to sleep in there and all types of stuff like that. But I got wheelchair assistance throughout the airport. Um, 
the bump, like you feel every bump. I'm telling you, every bump he hit, I was like, hell <laughs> ass down. <laughs> I was like, baby, slow down. Watch my bag. But um, nothing major really happened. Oh yeah, when I was on the um, plane coming here, it was like, you can't stun your bobby for takeoff and landing. I didn't sit on it for takeoff, the bitch for landing. I squished that bitch up on my booty. I didn't feel sad on it because, baby, my little booty was on fire. <laughs> and then in this wheelchair, all was out, y'all, my booty was on fire. I don't like how my ears fit me. It's, 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 it's the way this thing is on. Got my ears fit me. But my family didn't check in with me, my friends check in with me. I'm good. I just really hate that I have to I have this long as a layover. But I'm about to watch some Stranger Things. And I got this pizza. I'm gonna fuck it up. And I hope anybody watching me because I eat like a man. This gonna be gone now. Three to six minutes. So you know. But um Yeah. The flight wasn't too bad. I was asleep. Then y'all, every time I get good in my sleep, my head fall and I just, I be scared. Like, man, I know somebody was looking at me, laughing, but I don't care. Y'all, my little kitty cat been hurting. Like, I keep talking about this, but y'all, this shit hurt. Like, it hurt so bad. And it's like, every time I have to go through the little medicine type of thing, I have to get out the wheelchair and walk through. But I'm pre-checked and I'm pre-screened throughout the everything. So I don't really, I don't have to take off my jacket. I don't have to do anything. I just get out the wheelchair. I take off everything in my pocket and I walk through. I ain't gotta take my shoes off, no none of that. Um, that's really it, but. Like I said, traveling by myself, it, I mean, I ain't have no issues. Um, we just have to do a lot of research. Um, but one thing for sure, I am not coming overseas for no surgery again. Only because he charged me a thousand extra than my um, quote. And I feel like he did some funny shit because the numbers still don't add up with how much I paid. So, but I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna calculate everything and then I'm gonna um, do a vlog on it. And then, like, he posted me on his page and I did hear that he photoshopping his results or whatever. And my before picture, I feel like he made my size wider than what the fuck they was because the bitch don't play with me. I heard curves, so. But, um. Yeah, I just feel like they real money hungry. Like, they take they take your labs, they do all that shit. Mind you, I pay like. About $500. The first two days on labs. Um. And then the second day, that's when you meet the doctor or whatever. The first, after you do your lab, that's when you meet the doctor. But it's like, why can't I meet the doctor before my labs? Because he added on shit. Like, they be trying to get your money. But I'm not going over there no more. The pain, I don't know. Like, I'm thinking about doing a round two only because I want my boobs to be like a little bigger. But I was going through a lot, y'all. Like, I'm going to a round two. So, I had lost like a little 10 pounds or whatever. <laughs> So, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna trust the process. So, I'm gonna trust the process. I'm gonna eat a lot of protein. I mean, I'm not really, I don't really care about gaining weight because as long as I keep my waist and everything together, then I don't really care. Because the fact can go to the place that I wanted to go. Um, I'm just happy to be back in America. I'm happy to be back around food that I know, food that I know is good. I'm happy to be around English speaking people. Like, in the airport, all eyes will be on you. Like, that's just, that's just true. All eyes will be on you. 
but I'm gonna eat my pizza and watch some Stranger Things. Um, and I will let you guys know if anything else pop up. Okay, Becky. Okay, Becky. Becky. Boo. I've been coming up with all type of shit. Don't mind me. But I'll talk to y'all later. Hey y'all. So I'm in the um airport still. I had a four hour layover. Look at how fat my feet are. Look at how fat my knees are. I'm swollen really bad. I've asked these people for a wheelchair so I can prop my feet up. They do not want to give me a wheelchair. Mind you, I'm in the wheelchair lane because they take me on and off my flight. But I told them, I said, hey, I just got a surgery. Like, I need to prop my feet up. Like, look at this shit. And they look like, bitch, the croc is on my feet without the crocs on my feet. Like, it's giving dinosaur. Like, I can't even flex my foot, really. Like, people don't give a fuck about people's health. Now, if I fell out in this bitch and started fucking twitching on this ground then they would have wished they would have did what i told them to motherfucking do because there's a wheelchair right there it's been sitting here for the past two hours ain't nobody touched it i could have been propping my feet up like i'm nervous i got an hour and 30 minutes almost two hours on this flight and i'm nervous i mean they gave me a blood dinner but bitch that was at 10 50 this morning it's a whole 12 hours later I mean, my compression socks are on, but y'all look at, like, I'm swollen. I am swollen as fuck. Like, I'm nervous. I just want to get home, prop my legs up, and rest. Like, I'm nervous, and y'all know I, I, I overthink, so I'm trying not to overthink, but bitch, that's crazy. People don't give a fuck about nobody health. Fuck American Airlines, bitch. Hey y'all, so I just made it back to Savannah. I'm in my Uber. <laughs> Girl, um, get the fuck out of here. I'm getting chauffeured around. I don't know who this is, but my Uber driver. <laughs> she got a lot of people in the car, and I don't like that. That's very ghetto. Oh, this is Uber share. This is Uber share. Very ghetto. Uber share because you want to pay. I ordered Excel. I ordered that. But yeah, y'all, my friends came and picked me up. I'm gonna insert the video that my friend did to me. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. and I can't wait to get home because I'm gonna keep these feet up. My house is 90 degrees because bitch, I ain't had the AC on this whole time. I know. <laughs> I know <laughs> But I turned it on when I was leave when I had landed in Miami, so it should be good. It's, they say it's at 74 right now. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I don't know when the next time I'm gonna vlog to update y'all, but this is post op day, I think eight, eight or nine, one or two. But real, real still. I'm just ready to go home and go to sleep. All right, bye. Oh, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all are the vibes, bitch. <laughs>